This is a new type of nail polish remover gaining popularity because of its unique way of working. It looks like the nail polish is exploding off your nails. One popular vlogger gave her review, this is it. What is going on here? Vanish polish, remove your nail polish in just 30 seconds. It's like her nail is exploding from the inside. Does it explode more than just the nail polish? Because <laughs> that's my main research question. Is this safe? Look at that. This was just one coat of gel polish. No top coat, no base coat. I can't claim that this in particular is dangerous because I don't know. But honestly, it's just not worth the risk would be my advice. <laughs> that's it for today. So Dr. Botrid, they call this Magic remover? Correct. So this is meant for soak off gel nails, but they say you can use it on regular nail polish as well. Now, the interesting thing is there's nowhere on the bottle the actual ingredients. We had to actually dig quite deeply. And depending on which third party website you look at from abroad, it has some combination of cellulose, alkali water, peroxide, basically all the things that would be in an industrial solvent. And the one aspect of it that they Whoa. say is to avoid putting it on your skin. So it has to remain on the nail, if that's even what's in it. But I, I think anytime you see a reaction like that, like, is that appealing? Well, is that well, something you would even well, want to put well, on yourself? No, and, and you told me these are the same active ingredients they use to remove old paint from airplanes. Correct. It's so paint, in it's other words, chipper. it's going to get the nail polish off. Mm -hmm. However, the potential side effect of that is a calamity. Basically. Is that fair to say? Well, it, it may be. But it I may think, be, I but here, here's the deal. If you're using that as an industrial solvent to get paint off of things, I don't want it on my body. So what do you guys think? Doc, Doc Block! Block. <laughs> Just like that. All right, continuing along the nail theme, let's move on from the at-home nail care to the salon when it comes to nail care. Multiple news outlets reported on one woman's trip to the nail salon that left her needing surgery. How, you might ask? Well, a routine visit to the nail salon left her with an infected finger. The woman went in to get her acrylic nails filled. A week after the appointment, this is how her finger began to swell. She ended up in the hospital. That is, that's a little bit scary. Um, That's very scary. She could have lost her finger. Absolutely. So this was a woman who had acrylic nails. When you put something like an acrylic or a gel on the plate of your nail, by definition, you're disrupting that plate. You have to rough it up. You're putting a chemical that also can lift up, create a pocket for bacteria. This poor unfortunate woman said, well, in retrospect, it didn't seem very hygienic when they did it. And so anytime you're going to a nail salon, you always want to be so vigilant. Does it look clean? Are they taking the instruments out of an autoclave or a sterilized pouch, which just for everyone's reference should look like a light blue paper pouch that someone's tearing open just to use on you. I think these are going to become more and more common yeah, as we continue to do this. Don't be afraid to ask, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they've had incidences of, of problems and they want to do the best they can. And I'm sure that you wouldn't be the first asking, do you sterilize all your equipment? You so sterilization is hugely important, but let's address acrylic nails. Mm -hmm. So guys, what do you think? Doc Block! <laughs> I like that. You like the Doc Block? I like the Doc Block. It's fun.